Good morning guys, it's Aika and I am back in Manila. I'm back in my Manila apartment and I know a lot of you are new here and you probably have no idea what my like living situation is since I go back and forth to Japan a lot. I make life in Japan vlogs, I vlog here in the Philippines. Okay, so I live in two countries, Philippines and Japan. My family resides in Japan so I go back and forth Recently, I've been going back and forth every two months, I notice, and I'm really grateful for that. But on the other hand, it can be quite tiring. My stuff are like all over the place, but nevertheless, it's such an amazing opportunity for me to, you know, still be able to see my family and work there in Japan because I also have work opportunities whenever I'm in Japan. So whenever I'm here, like back in Manila, this is where I stay, in my apartment. That's my living situation right now. It's honestly the best for me because I get bored so easily. I always need a change in my life. Living in two countries really make life more interesting for me. Like I actually enjoy having a change of scenery and having my life there completely different from how it is in Manila. I forgot how much I love this attachment. I usually just use the blow dryer, but this one just makes my hair so smooth. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks so shiny. I just need the smoothening feature because I have so much baby hairs. I've only talked about this with a couple of people, so you're gonna be one of the first ones to know. I am working on a business venture. This has been one of my goals in this lifetime. It's so funny because it's always on my like New Year's resolutions or like my goals for the year, but I never got around to doing it before. And my parents were both business owners and I've always looked up to my dad my dad built his company from the ground up without any college education but i remember he would always tell me if he went to college and equipped himself with the tools that he needed to scale his business if he was able to learn that when he was younger his business could have been 10 times bigger than how it is now it just makes me think how lucky we are to have those information that only used to be taught in college but now we can learn it online so now my goal is to really invest on myself invest on education i actually enrolled myself to a business course so i do that every saturday during my free time i take classes online i'm actually learning this class e-commerce essentials by tracy wallace on skillshare a great introduction to starting an online business recently i've been exploring new classes on skillshare which is the largest online learning community for creatives classes here are led by industry professionals across freelance illustration, design, and many more. This year, we can invest on ourselves, on our goals by starting a learning journey on Skillshare. If you're unsure where to start, go check out the learning paths where they handpick classes that are meant to be taken in order. This is to master a specific skill. Since I want to learn how to launch a business, this is the learning path that I chose. So this has the basics from conceptualizing to branding. If you want to try it first, the first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. I'm going to have it down below. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Play morning jazz on YouTube. Whenever I'm working or I'm studying, I like to create a vibe. So I like to put on um, jazz or like bossa nova playing on the background. This wall looks so plain because my plant died again. When I got back from Japan, they were dead. So I'm thinking of buying a fake plant so I can put it here. This is how my work setup usually looks like. I like to work here on the counter because I have so much space to put my laptop and my notebook here. I forgot I had this. It's almost 12 and I need to get ready because I'm going to the skin clinic. I'm heading there at 1 and I'm gonna go get a facial. Finally, it's been over a month. I'm also getting a beauty drip which is my staple because I always come out feeling like a brand new person after a drip. 
It just gives me so much energy like no other. <laughs> I love it. from Majorelle. This is from Revolve. And then my skirt is from Lucan. My class is at 1.30, it's now 12.30 and I passed by Burger Circle first because I wanted to have lunch with Kyle. Very sweet. <laughs> he was asking me what I wanted for my birthday and all I want is a cat. A what? I really want a cat guys. I really want one. I think I'm ready to be a pet mom. A fur mom. Are you gonna get me a kitty? Yes. Marketing class and uh, my classmates, my lovely classmates. Can we start off with Aika? First, always the first. I drank a little bit of wine, so it's time to drink my ukon. Got this from Japan, and it really helps with not having a hangover the next day. I don't like having hangovers, so I usually drink this. I might actually go and um, go to my friend's birthday celebration later, so there's gonna be a lot more drinking, but we like to have a work-life balance here, you know? Work hard, play hard. Cheers! There's actually an extra strong version of this, but I only got the regular one because I'm not really a, a big drinker. This is just a must for me every single night. It really helps me de-bloat and I feel so much better after like eating a lot or like drinking when I drink my green tea. Okay, a hack that I'm gonna teach you guys. I've been doing it since I was in college. So after drinking tea, sometimes I like to use this as my face mask. So what I do is I open this tea bag and I just put it on my face after cleansing it. 
and I let it stay there for like five minutes then after that I wash it off but before I wash it off I kind of like gently exfoliate my face with it and it gives me like the brightest skin ever and it makes my redness on my cheeks go away it sort of calms down my face in a way and I just love it so much so many like benefits for the skin sometimes what I do also if I don't have time to make it a face mask I put it on the fridge overnight and I use it on my eye bags. Whenever I wake up in the morning, my, my eye bags are usually like really puffy. So I use this as like a cold compress and it works really well. Mm -hmm. 